Okay, so we're gonna cyborg this. I'm a little embarrassed because uh, that I that was real bad. Yeah, it's I'm I'm really rusty. It's been it's been several weeks now since I've played. So. Don't tell them. Don't tell them recording dates. No, no, no. But at me, like playing at home. I mean, it's been yeah. But weeks. it means it's been several weeks since we recorded this. Oh, oh so sorry. <gasps> oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to happen. Oh! Oh! Z beep! We're probably, yeah. No, Z beep! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so much more epic in, uh, in fast, in cyborg because it goes so much faster. Yeah! Get blurred! Fuck you, Uffo! Yeah, high yeah. five! Yeah, we you didn't totally do did it. <laughs> yeah, I did it. You totally wow. did everything. We lost Z peep. Yes, you'll be remembered. Oh, Z peep beep. You can probably just sell the rest of the eight hot ships after beep, this. Z peep Z peep. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> oh, I saw the one. Yeah, the energy scan is what we're going for. It was down uh, to the left, uh, under the gold. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere around there. Yeah, there it is. What the fuck is that? Looks like the spider thing. We are insane major tectonic shocks here on the surface. Wait a minute, they seem to have passed. Ooh, that was awful. Captain, when we weren't bouncing off the ceiling or being bashed against the lander walls... We were looking for whatever it was that the Mycon were hiding down here. We think we found it. I don't know what to call it. It kind of looks like a cross between a spider and an antenna. But... Jeevo. <laughs> the engineer we brought along says the device has the capacity to radiate incredible amounts of energy in the form of visible light. Okay. We have decided not to experiment with the artifact and we'll bring it aboard right after we explore the immediate vicinity. Oh, no, it's okay. happening again. Okay. Oh, Captain, looks like the shocks are starting up again. We can't take much more of this. Returning to ship. Excellent. Thank. Oh, thank, wait. Thank you, Auto Combat. Oh, You're we have to change best. our name. Oh, you want to change your name? Yeah, I want to change my name. Okay. Uh, so, my flagship. Okay. Go for it. Oh, spaghetti. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. <laughs> spaghetti. So, Yo, can, man. Can, so uh, why spaghetti? <laughs> I, the great papyrus, enjoy making spaghetti for all people. It's kind of a cross between, like, Mark Hamill and, um, J John Travolta <laughs> in Battlefield Battle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Battleship Space. Before you learn to spell your name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good movie. Yeah, we'll call it that. <laughs> You'll call it that. Okay, where's next? So uh, we got that thing. Yeah, we did. What was that thing? Uh, no idea. Well, I mean, obviously, I know. You know! I know what it is, but I'm acting. But you want to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I we are completely out of leads. So we are going to call in our oh. good friend, the Melnorme. Sun device. Where, there it is. The Umga caster. So we're going to chill here and wait for our good friend, the Melnorme. You're just going <gasps> to pass right on us, right? Yep. Yep. They're gonna come by. There he is. Are you sure? Yep, and then we're gonna buy some plot hooks from him. <laughs> we haven't found any of the purple worlds. Rainbow worlds. The rainbow worlds. Rainbow worlds. We found a few at the beginning. Did we? Did off camera. Do we have enough uh, Stuff? money for that? Yeah. Look at Kirby. I forgot about him. Hello. Oh. You had itchy paws. Oh. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> How are you going to itch them? Scratch <laughs> them? I would like to make some purchases. No, we have to sell first. Because like we're down oh. to 200 credit. Oh. Excellent. So we don't need Rainbow Worlds because oh, right. we got all that bio data from the Unga. Oh. That's what they gave us as reward for saving them from the talking pet. 
And now oh. we got purchases. Well then. So we got 1,200 credits. Yeah. That's uh, pretty good then. Yeah, we're going to spend it all on fuel. No. Uh, in four. So, what we want... Uh, I don't know anything, so I think alien races would be the thing, because there's a couple we haven't met yet, right? Yes, that's right. As you've told me. Yes. Well, it's, I, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, there's gaps on the map where there's, like, still star clusters, so... Mm. Like, I haven't met the Slobidians. Who? <laughs> uh, the John Cena's. John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, what do we want? Okay, so we want, unfortunately, like I explained before, we can't buy, like, the ones we want. We have to sort of buy them in order. So we're just going to keep having to click on this until we find something that's interesting. Good mash through it. So. Uh, Zafa Pip. Oh, we got that. Yay. Okay, so. Oh, they do know, they do mention the Urquan, but we know that. So I haven't met the uh, we haven't met the Shinzusu e yet. No, we haven't. Are eager to make allies. Uh, and then it's their homeworld coordinates, but we already know where that is. So the next one, the Ilrath. Ilrath. We've met them also, but only They're once. attacking the Bakunk. Yes, which we knew about, because the Bakunk told us that. Yeah. And they have their dark gods, Dolgar and Kazon. And Kazon, which in the past few years... Music against them by the Umga. Indeed. But we have the Umga caster now. Ooh. We can make fun of them. I love how, like, every single person has told us multiple times that we should use the Umga's thing against them. <laughs> this is what happens if you do. Uh, I guess we'll find out, won't we? I guess we're going to have to do that then. Next. Because we only fought one Ilrath guy. Yeah. Like, really, really early on. <laughs> In the tutorial and it took, fight. like, two seconds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gickless and Kruger. Yes. This is about the big hunk. We already, oh, okay. We've already met them. We already got the artifact from them. That's fine. Uh, yeah, skip through? Yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Skip ahead, skip ahead. Next. Oh, this is about the Urk one and the Korra. Okay. This might be interesting. You're an Urquan subspecies who split off the main group many thousands of years ago. Okay. And all of this is explained in great detail under the history setting section. <laughs> but we but don't have time for that. We don't have time or the money for that, so uh, either play the game yourself or look at the wiki page. The Dinyari. That's the... The Urquan Masters! <laughs> Title drop! Actually it, though! <laughs> So the the, the Kora are the brown ones. Yeah. The Korra, black ones. The black ones, yeah. Paradox. To ensure their safety and security, the Kora fight an endless <laughs> battle against all other sentient okay. species. That was really well worded. I really like the way he put that. They live in a self maintained paradox. I like that. That's that works. It's like Spider Man three. Next. I must warn you. <laughs> Great, thank you, alien. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about bad. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, this is what we want. This is the new information, so you might want to write this down. Dr Druge? The Druge. <laughs> uh, they rob from the rich and steal from the no, backwards. So they are bad because of capitalism. <laughs> oh no, it's through Walmart. Oh, so Walmart. <laughs> That you may ah, and there's their home world, Zeta per Psi 1. So, wait, so they say because they sell things, they don't want us to go to them. Yeah, that was the joke. Okay. That's why he was like, they're an evil race and only care about personal gain. Why are you looking at me like that, Captain? That's why that was there. Okay. So the Druge are bad because of capitalism and Walmart. Okay, and now... Potentially target, but you don't have target up here. 
No, not anymore. It was yeah. here for a while. I know, it was not that long. It was less than a year. Like five seconds? It was less than a year. Yeah. On the cosmic scale, it was five seconds. And now we want information about Kern. So now we have that hook with about the Druge. Okay. And now we're going to go to Kern events. We don't need anything else past that? Nope, not for that section, no. Should we get the rest of them just in case? No, it won't. No, it's not necessary. We'll see if we have money for it, but now we need to go to Kern events. Okay. Right, so we know that. I knew that one. I know this one. It's C. Uh, Criteris. Oh, that's you should write down the Criteris Star Group. That's going to come important. That's going to come important in the end game. Cora are winning. Yes. So the green ones. No, the black ones. The black ones are winning. Oh. So if they're the Cora, then what are the other ones? The yeah. what are? They're the Gazerza. Denieri. What are the Denieri? The Denieri, the frogs. Oh, the talking, the talking pet. Yeah. No doubt you are familiar with an alien race called the Oonga. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anything here that's important? Why they are renowned so for humor. Oh, I think this is about. I think this is about the casters again. <laughs> oh. I think he's telling us yet again to use the casters on the ill wrath. <laughs> yes, the unusual hyperwave caster. Yeah. To impersonate the ill wrath gods Dogar and Kazan. Yeah. So I, I think that's the fourth time now we've been told to impersonate <laughs> Dogar and Kazan. In, there was twice in the same uh, conversation yes. actually. Yes. At this point, he's basically just like demanding things. Yeah. Do it. Do it, I'll pay you. Maybe falls are more than blast from the signal. But they're not going to because... However, in a surprise move, the majority of the Ilrath then rose up. The majority of the Ilrath then rose up and slaughtered the entire... Ooh! The reasons for this ghastly move included overtaxation, lack of quality death in ceremony, and... The general feeling that the priests had made Dogar and okay. pronouncements. That's a complex religion there. Yeah. Well, well I'd love to stay and learn about the Illrath for Tetis. The damn. Caster? Caster. Yeah, I know. Comma. You bean. Okay, so I guess we have another hook there. Use the damn caster. You bean. As you know. In the oh, I think this is going to be about oh. the quasi space portals. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One such new. Uh, yeah, okay. Portal Wait, do I need. Oh, no, we did that already. Yeah, okay. We missed it several times. Yes, we did. That was fun. And by fun, I mean not fun. Uh, Dreadnoughts, Possess, uh, however we have become aware of a shit. That was it, we did that already. Alpha Pavonis. We did that already, too. Oh, this is the Cilantro? Okay, yep. Next. Not more than 50 years ago, the Druze were informed by... Whoa. Oh, yeah, okay. What is, what are they? What, the Bravixis? What are the Utwig? Ah, the Utwig. Okay, there we go. The Bervixies explained were pleasant, sophisticated creatures, but they were also terminally deep. Jesus. Did they just kill themselves? The Utwig are, were emo before emo was cool. Guess what? Wouldn't it be cool if we got our own Super Bowl? Hi ah, Zeta Hiatus. There we go. Zeta Hiatus 7. B. I think it was. B means it's the second move. Zeta hiatus. So there we go. Now we have our other plot hook. So we know Zeta Persei and Zeta hiatus. Plus the caster thing. Which, which one was? That was Zeta Persei. Yeah. Yes. The Druge. And then the Utwig is Zeta whatever. Algol, Algamas, and Persei. They made a special trip on this occasion. Quarry. The where they made contact with the Utwig. Where they made contact with the Utwig. Okay. There is a device Ultron. commonly known as the Ultron. Oh. Is it now in Oh, we have it already? No, we don't. I see. 
the druid sold this device to the personal magnifier explaining that it was a precursor unfortunately tony stark filled with the technology he didn't understand all right ultron was completely different in the comic books okay so. did you like the movie or no it was fine okay i mean except I for a huge glaring flaw uh, the romance between Black Widow and the Hulk. Oh, you didn't like it? No, it was the worst part of the movie. It oh. made no sense. It had no ground. No, not really. It was awful. It was shoehorned in for no reason to somehow try to give way for Planet Hulk, even though that's a, not a rocket ship and it's just a jet plane. Fuck that. Uh. That If they took that out and just... And in, in, in any case, it felt, yeah, it Hawkeye felt having a family, like, wasn't good because it was supposed to be him and Natasha, damn it. Uh, uh, but um, it didn't make any sense okay. because him going to his house endangered his family in the first place. Yes. So, like, that was useless. Yeah. It was not, not, a, not it, good. It didn't make it, it felt very, like, this obligatory thing to make Hawkeye more interesting or something, but... Like that felt like okay. I guess that's it for now. Okay, so, so we, we gotta, gotta use the caster. We gotta, use we the gotta caster. go to Hades Seven B. Zeta Hiatus. And then we Hiatus is the constellation. Right. Zeta is the planet or the star. Goodbye. Okay, and then we gotta go to Zeta Persei. Right. Uh, you want to use the caster first? Uh, let's. We'll do it by geography. I think we'll see which one's closest. Fine. Okay, so you are here. Oh, the Micron's getting smaller. They're getting attacked by the... They're just getting rocked. They're getting rocked by the Siren. I wish I could have rocked them. What Stupid happens if you go over there? You, the Micron will still attack you. Oh, okay. Uh, there's... No, that's Ada Persei. Iota Persei. Epsilon Persei. At least I'm in the right constellation. Yeah, you are. Delta. Oh, my God. Gamma. Alpha. It's the last one. Are there literally 26 stars it's the last here? One. Because... Nope. Ooh. Uh, the one at the bottom? There it is. Okay, so there's Zeta Persei. That's 30, 30 fuel. fuel. But we can quasi there. That's true. Okay. Hiatus is up here. Yeah, we're not doing that right now. Okay. And, and then you can see where the Ilrath is on the other side. So. We're closer to Zeta Persei. Yeah, so I think that's probably our next stop. Okay, that's fair. 